Is it good? Good morning from Koh Phangan. Now we arrived here a few days from Koh Tao, which we had an amazing time there exploring the beaches. And we thought we would do the same here, except, you know, that November rain. It's been raining the past few days, and so we've just been kind of chilling. But we're staying on the west side of the island, and so we have beautiful views from these wooden huts that we're staying in. Only $17 a night with an amazing pool overlooking the water. And this morning, it looks sunny. So I'm very excited. We're up early. We're gonna get out and explore. There are a couple of beaches here I really want to see, and also lots of traditional food. Now, a lot of times when you book things on Agoda or booking, there are lots of photos. It makes the place look beautiful. And then almost always when you get there, you're slightly disappointed. Hopefully you've managed your expectations. So I didn't know what to expect about this pool because is it really going to be that great if it's that cheap? Yeah, it is. Come take a look at this. This week, even if it's been raining, people are still coming out here because it's so beautiful. It's a great place for sunset. Now in Thailand, I really wanted to show that you don't have to stay in really cheap backpacker accommodations or luxury. You can actually stay in really comfortable places. Have a great holiday, $17 a night for this place. This pool is fantastic. Secret beach is called Had Son. And actually, it's not much of a secret beach at all. There's a big sign as you come down, so definitely not a secret. There is a resort here. I think there are two beach bars. And the nice thing about Koh Phangan is that the longest beach isn't very long at all, and the island is really full of a lot of small beaches. And so none of the beaches get too crowded. And then a lot of times, if you show up early, you're the only people on the beach. So you can see on this side, there's Hadson Resort. And right on the tip there, there's a little beach bar and restaurant, which would be amazing at sunset because we're right on the west here. Might have to come back for that. And then through here, you can see there are also some bungalows that you can rent, which are definitely a step up from what we're staying at and super cute. So I'm definitely a fan of this not so secret beach. It's fantastic, very small, chill, and then also just family friendly. A lot of people just relaxing here. The only thing I would say is that the restaurant doesn't have a lot of traditional Thai food. And for that reason, we need to leave to go have breakfast. We came back and it looks closed, but no, it's not. We saw her. I'm so glad we decided to come here because we almost went to Salad Beach where there's a restaurant that we have been to before on a rainy day. It had Western food, but also it had traditional Thai. Um, I had a larb mu there, a minced pork salad that was amazing, so good. I'm gonna have the recipe on my site, Bacon is Magic. It was that good, I had to get the recipe. But also here, uh, there's no lighting during the day, so it kind of looks dark, but as soon as we peeked in, we saw Mama Poo. And they say that no one speaks English here, but actually she kind of does speak a little bit of English. Anyway, at this place, um, they make it really easy for you. So when you get here, lots of English instructions, menu is in English, but what they do tell you is, no one here can read English letters, only Thai letters. Okay, he wants. Oh wow, Good. big portion. <laughs> Look how happy Alan is. Nice. Oh, that's so good. What are your first impressions? I give 9.5. 
9.5 out of 10 before eating it. Yeah. That is a gigantic portion. It looks like kway teow noodles. Yeah. Like big, thick. The noodles are so thick. They're almost yeah. like the size of um, like big fat linguine or fettuccine, but like double. It looks good. Mm. Is it good? I like this kind how they cook. Let me try. Mmm. Oh yeah. Full of flavor. Mmm. This is soy sauce noodles. And I said to Alan, I was like, that's how you're gonna get it. it seems so bland. But it's actually so full of flavor, like very yeah. deep. It's not just like she tossed some soy sauce on the chicken. Oh, it's good. She's a good cook. Yum. But these noodles it's too. Perfect. It's perfect. It is perfect. I want to try the noodle. Now I'm kind of jealous. All right. Mm. Mm. What do you think? Oh. See? Silky soft. There's like soft, buttery pillows of noodle. That's good. All right. But what about mine? A couple of things before we even start. She gave us the food and then she came out and gave us condiments. And if you watched my Kotao video, you know this is like so special to me. I still don't know the official name for it, but it's fish sauce with lime, um, sugar, chili, and it makes everything taste amazing. You should put some of this on there. I mean, I don't think yours really needs a lot, but like this makes everything, it's just like spicy, sweet, umami, yum. It makes everything good. And then she also brought out more fish sauce, and then she brought more Super. chili just in case. This is Tom Ka. Tom Ka is a soup that's just like Tom Yum if you've had it. It's a sweet and sour soup. But Ka means galangal. Galangal is like a citrusy type of ginger. I don't think it's from the same family, but same kind of feeling. But the difference between the two soups, which both have this galangal, is that Tom Ka has coconut milk. This, this smells amazing. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, there's also lemongrass in there. Medium spice, I got a three. Mmm. Ooh, it's tangy, sour, creamy from the milk. Mmm. I could just have the broth. The broth is that good. But she's also got these like wood ear mushrooms, I think they're called, in it. Some tomatoes. Ooh, I wanna get one of the mushrooms. I think I'm more excited about the mushrooms than I am about the shrimp. Hot. Mmm. Mmm. This is the food that I've been waiting for. This is why I came to this spot. Mama Poo's has like legit Thai food. It's good. Oh, this has just made my day. Mmm. If you come to Koh Phangan because you want to go only to the full moon party, you are missing out. Like this island has so much more. And we made it to the beach, or at least the resort that the beach is on. I think you have to walk through the resort to the beach. It is very sunny out. I put my hat on and Alan hates to wear a hat and he put his on because it's so sunny. But I don't want to complain because the last couple days it's been raining and we just sat through an hour of rain and so it's sunny and bright and I am loving it. We walked out of that beach resort, down to the beach, to the corner. I'm so glad we did because we're at Koma Beach Restaurant. It's a beautiful spot looking out onto the water, open air. Prices aren't bad either. So in Koh Phangan, An means uh, sandbar. And so there are lots of sandbars around this island, but I think this one is the most famous because it connects the two beaches, the island to the mainland. We're going to enjoy inside, get a bite, get a beer, and then we're going to venture out into the sun.
they have in Canada what we would call a nookshooks. You're done. Yours is very delicate. I wanted to talk a little bit about full moon party here because it is so popular. So the average population on the island is 14,000 people. It doesn't have a large expat population, but there are some people, mostly digital nomads. And for full moon party, which happens once a month, 40,000 people. So that is huge. A lot of people come for a full moon and it's huge. It's also very expensive. A lot of the hotel prices double, triple, quadruple. But full moon is not the only party here. They actually have half moon party. I've seen a waterfall party. They have Halloween party just happened. They also have some kind of lighthouse party. There are a lot of parties here. This is so steep. I think maybe better to park. We've made it to Salad Beach. Well, we've made it to the outside because the, the hill to go down is so steep. Alan needs to come back up and get me because my flip flops, Alan. Alan, <laughs> you need to come get me. We made it. I don't know how much of a sunset or that we're gonna have, but we are on Salad Beach. You can see white sand. It is gorgeous here. We're gonna go to a place that we've been to before. All right, on the way here, I've had so many camera troubles, but I wanna get this in while we're still here. Made it to Salad Beach. Now, what I would say about Ke Phang An is that I really like this place. It reminds me of a lot of the places in Mexico that I love. So there is tourism, but it's still so relaxed chill tourism yes there's built up tourism but there's also a lot of these laid back places so i would say i like this over katao but i would go to katao again because we stayed in sari beach and so that was like the most touristy the most party but in the next video we're going to be in koh samui the herd is the most commercial so i hope that we can find parts of it that i like I mean, every island has to have parts that are just chill, not commercial. But that will be our challenge. So we will see you in the next video in Kasamui. But we have to put the camera down because the sun is going down and we want to get this water. Join my Patreon community for more behind the scenes and exclusive content you won't find elsewhere. You can also find me on Instagram and be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. All of these things make my day. Thank you so much for your support.